Uh, this is uh, our morning market review, what we call MMRO, which we do every day, right? From 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning, one solid hour of uh, market analysis. So this is, this is the session we get to give you uh, tips and tricks how to navigate the market, of course, previews and reviews about the market, of course, uh, so that, of course, you can come out uh, profitable in your trade, okay? And also, you can manage your trade very well, okay? All right, guys, so we are starting immediately. Uh, we are going to start from looking at the fundamental event. So, we, you all know that there are two types of analysis, majorly. So, we have the fundamental analysis, and of course, we have the technical analysis. So, we talk, we always try to cover these two major forms of analysis in in on this session every day okay so we normally start with the fundamental so let's look at some of the fundamentals for today remember fundamental is very powerful that is what sets the pace for the movement of the market then we now call it technical right so of course technical is a historical price analysis but then it is fundamental events that actually set the move so you don't want to ignore fundamental right you don't want to ignore for fundamental please if you can hear me let me be sure you just type uh just type at the, um, uh, in the chat room, please. Just type if you can hear me. I can hear you. Just type something like that. Then I'll be sure you can hear me, please. Guys, you can hear me? Just indicate. Okay, I can see you there. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you very much. So uh, let me share my screen now. I want to share my screen. All right, uh, quick one. Let me share my screen. Just hold on a bit. Um, so I've been able to do that. So to just check if you can see my screen. I've been able to share my screen. Just check. I am on forestfactory.com. So uh, this is one of the websites where you can check for news. So what you want to do is every day just visit this website to help you especially for the newbies to help you visit this website you get to see news events that can affect the market now i jokingly say i normally say fundamentals have no respect for technical analysis that means uh, uh you cannot do without fundamentals right so you want to always be aware of the news so this is one of the websites you can use forest factory you can also use investing.com right or you can also use uh, tradingeconomics.com. So there are several websites you can use, okay? So there was a day I, I, I actually opened this website, Forest Factory. I saw that ah, they were working on their site. So uh, then it's not good to be stuck just like that. So I actually use uh, investing.com. So you can use investing.com. You can equally use www.tradingeconomics.com. So for this funder, for this uh, forest factory, yes. Yeah? So quickly, this is the date of the news. Of course, this is today, right? So today being the 24th of October, Tuesday, the 24th of October, 2023, right? Now, of course, this is the, the time of the day. And this is actually our local time, right? So this is the currency the news will affect. Currency, not currency pair. Please take note, especially for the new bids here. Yeah? Currency, not currency pair. Okay, so actually, there's a difference between currency and currency pair. Of course, you know. Now, of course, it affects this currency, and also it tells you the country, right, or the destination where these news are emanating from. Then this is the impact. So our focus is always on the impact, especially the red impact, right, the high impact news. So this red impact means high volatility is expected. That means high movement. Volatility is the rate of change of price with time. So it, this means that the price will change very fast, right? The price will move very well. That's it means. So and, and of course you know that we trade that wine and dine on the volatility. That means without volatility, there is no trading. Without volatility, no pips movement. Without volatility, no money. We don't make money. We need movement. It's as simple as that. So that means uh, when anytime there is a, a red news like this, we want, we want to pay attention to it. 
like for today, 7 a.m. Uh, this one has passed. 7 a.m. has just passed, right? So we saw this claimant count charge, claimant count charge from the from the UK, claimant count charge. So this is actually uh, for those claiming unemployment benefits, right? Claimant count charge. So for for those of us new year, most of this uh, caption may be may be sounding very strange to you when you get started. But guess what? That is how uh, learning uh, begins, right? It's, it's it starts from a point where you don't really understand to the point where you gradually start to understand. Then of course now get to the mastery uh, aspect of it so um so you are to open the folder so this is the folder you just click to open it right so it will give you literature right or you try to explain what the news is about so so changes in the number of employed people changes in the number of people claiming unemployment benefits unemployment related benefit during the previous month so actually claimant count charge in the, in the uk is just a uh, uh, a, a track right or uh, it tracks those that are claiming unemployment benefits in other words it is telling you the number the total number of persons that are unemployed so in other words it tells you the unemployment rates right it tells you the unemployment rate so that means if the number if if more persons are claiming unemployment benefits it means more those persons are not employed and of course you know if they are not employed it means it has a negative it can affect the economy negatively, right? All right. <clears throat> so as you can see here, the number is uh, is red, right? So you, so you, so you can see that it's red. That means uh, so actual less than forecast is good for the economy. So if you look at this actual, this is twenty k, this is two point four k. So actual is actually greater than forecast. So that means more persons are filing for unemployment benefits so that means it is bad so that's the bad news for the uh for gbp okay then of course for today 8 15 right just one minute uh to the news so we have the pmi so uh, this is actually a world pmi day right so pmi from every quarter so pmi means purchasing managers index right so it is actually one of the survey right uh, one of the earliest indicator, earliest measure of the health of the economy, right? So it is a system where uh, they ask responded to rate the relative uh, business condition concerning uh, employment benefit, labor prices. So they just ask purchasing managers in different sectors, right? So it can be manufacturing sector, it can be in uh, uh, <coughs> the service uh, industry. To rate how the business, the relative business condition is doing, right? So from that rating, they get a, a value. So if that value is greater than 50, right? So above 50 indicate that the economy is expanding, right? So of course you buy that particular instrument. So below it means a contraction, right? So that's what it means. So as, as you can see here, uh, we just have this 815. Guys, I hope we are still following. So we so we just have this uh this news for 8:15 here, yeah? as you can see, it came out. Uh, <clears throat> so the French uh, flash. So there are actually two. There's there's a final. There's a flash. So the flash is always stronger than the final. So they are both separated by a week. Okay. So the flash comes out before the final. Okay. So this is the flash. So this is French flash manufacturing PMI. So this is for the manufacturing. This is for the service. So the, for the manufacturing, it came out as as uh, red. That's bad, right? Uh, for the French, for the service, it came out as uh, green. That's good, right? But now this is good, but not very good. Okay, good because it is greater than the previous. But it's not actually above fifty. So if it's above fifty, that is good. It's very good. So you get to see more impact. So that means we expect uh, uh, the euro to be a bit strong. Of course, from the chart this morning, the euro is already very strong. Okay. So, but of course, you can see this is a bad news, a good news. So it's somewhere at uh, equilibrium. Okay, so the eight thirty or so we have this same news on on, uh, but this time around is from uh, Germany, right? Both uh, manufacturing and of course on the service. Guys, are we still together? I hope you guys are still following. So uh, we just have several of them. So that means you want to keep your eye on the chart, right? Or you, if you have a trade, you want to. Uh, of course, use stop loss and of course take profit on your trade in, in case of any uh, unforeseen dangerous spikes. Okay. 
So let me dive straight to the chart so that I can show you all of this. So okay, for still today, uh, okay, we just have PMI, PMI everywhere, PMI from USD, PMI from CAD, PMI from every quarter. They are all PMI for today. Okay, uh, so let me switch straight to the chart. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, do I can see you say I'm following? That's good. Uh, let me switch over to my chart so that we can look at uh, technical analysis. Okay. So quickly, I have switched over to the chart, guys. I've switched over to the chart. Um, you can see my chart. Just do it to type chart for me. You can see my chart. Please type chart for me. Thank you. Thank you. You can see my chart. Type chart for me. Chart, 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 chart. Okay, thank you, thank you. You guys can see my chart. All right, let's start from the USD index, as I always do. Um, I'm going to look at the H4 time frame, right? Now, the reason why I'm looking at H4 time frame because there are different categories of traders, right? So, there are some traders that wish to hold their trade for a longer time, right? There are those traders that have a bigger capital compared to those that don't like to hold their trade for a longer time, okay? So, so if you're the type that, are, that, that is very, always very busy, don't really have time to always be checking your screen, right? Then you can be trading in a, uh, in a way that you hold your trade for a longer time. Okay, so they are those that use a uh, uh, H4 time frame, right, to look at what, what the market is doing. So from what we can see here, the market keep breaking structure to the upside and respecting the lows, but suddenly you can see that the market is now trying to take out this low. So this this has been the established low, right, which, which we call verified support. But as you can see right now, the market is gradually our price is gradually trading below that verified support so this is where we can say the price on the h4 time frame please so this is where we can say the price is now uh there is now a shift what we call the market uh, structure shift right so there's a shift here the market is trying to shift to the downside why because uh on the upward trend it is of course higher highs and higher lows right as you can see higher high higher high higher low higher high higher low but this is the first time the market is trying to give us a lower high because of course if this price trade uh lower like this this new point becomes a lower low compared with this low okay so that's what we call a shift right so that's the first sign of weakness of the upward trend right the first the first sign of weakness but you know what this market is all about? This market can still dip this much, right? And of course, plum, uh, impulse to the upside. But, but let's just keep our eye on it, right? So we already see weakness in the dollar, right? So until this low is taken out, we've not seen the weak, weakness. But right now, we already start seeing weakness in the dollar. Remember, this dollar was ranging, right? It was ranging inside this box. So if, if you drop down to H1 time frame, you see that range very well, okay? So, so this is the range. So that means for the past, um, for the past, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For the past one week, the dollar has been ranging, right? So you can see range. So this, this, this is what we call range. You keep trading sideways, right? So it traded from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. So it has the range, but this is, this is a break out of the range, right? So it broke to the downside. Okay, so for, so that force that took it out of this range is actually the same force responsible for 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 tapping this protected liquidity. So that means, uh, remember this level here has been our protected li liquidity because we are on the upward trend. But right now, the market has, is going for that protected liquidity. By, li by, by liquidity, I mean money, okay? Because money is fluid, right? is liquid so this price is going towards that protected liquidity so that means that's the first sign of change 
in direction right so those of us still holding our buy position uh you may you, you may you may want to give up right now <laughs> because the market have given us first sign of uh change uh in the structure of the market now let's look at euro us please let's start with euro us so let's look at euro us so for for euro usd of course this market has been going down now guys you know uh, one thing about this market is that um the trend of course you, you should know you should know the trend very well by now so the trend is actually your friend you must have heard that very well uh but then there is a clause at the end the the the, the trend is your friend until it bends at the end right so that means why the trend is your friend, why you're uh, riding along the, the trend, this is what I mean, why you're following the trend direction, which is good. Take note, a time will come when it will bend at the end. So that is what we are seeing. So we are seeing a bending, right? Uh, it's almost sounding like iron, iron bender. <laughs> Uh, it bends at the end, right? So the question will now be what sign should I be looking at for, right? To know when the market or the trend is about to bend at the end. Of course, the truth about the, the, the matter is that that is at the point where uh, most persons get to take some amount of losses, right? When it bends at the end. But trading is all about uh, making bigger profits, smaller losses. So one of the secrets of trading is cutting short the losses so that means and of course that is where stop loss comes in right so big loss is not actually stop loss so control loss small loss right is what we call stop loss okay so for a successful trader uh you should have a control uh risk can't you can't see my screen is it true the rest of us please can you see my screen someone is saying you cannot see my screen the rest of us please check can you see my screen okay uh you, you can't see my screen but uh, you can see it now so this is h4 time frame please so quickly uh let's look at what is happening here so the market have shifted to the upside how do i mean it has taken out this high right it has taken out this high of course that's the first sign that it has shifted by taking out this high i mean the market have traded above this high you know above this high uh, is what we call protected liquidity but right now the market has taken out that protected liquidity so i uh, see what i mean so this is a, 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 uh, an impulse to the downside of course replacement to the upside of course retracement to the upside then the next time impulse again to the downside to take out this previous low okay so now it's taking out this previous low is the protected uh, is the targeted liquidity so he took out this low right he took out the targeted liquidity then of course it traded up somewhere here yeah? but let me just do this so this is the first time it's trading above this high right so that's the first so this is the, this the same thing we have experienced on um, on the index the dollar index so we have just seen this happen on the dollar index right so it, so it has taken out the protected liquidity right so of course that's the first sign up then of course you keep an eye on it so see it it knows dive again right but if you notice it did not take out this loop so that means this loop becomes our protected it has changed from uh, target uh direction or target liquidity to our protected liquidity right so right now you can see that it has taken out this high so it has formed a new high so guys uh the you you go us on h4 time frame is not trading to the upside that's what it means so that is what we call directional bias right but if you watch this movement uh give us a higher high higher low all of that now since we have broken structure to the upside right so uh, by that i mean the market trading above the recent high we call that a break of structure to the upside okay so don't uh, don't 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 allow this grammar to to confuse you it's just simple simple things so if the price trade above the the recent high right 
So that's a break of structure to the upside. Okay. So whenever we have a break of structure to the upside, we normally expect a retracement, right? So uh, I will not be expecting much move from here, even though the market can still give us more momentum uh, impulse to the upside. I'll be expecting a retracement, right? I'll be expecting a retracement. I'll be expecting a retracement. That retracement, I mean, I'll be expecting some level of weakness, right? Okay. So, uh, how much retracement will be a good re will, will be a good retracement? How much retracement will be a good retracement? So, I can use my Fibonacci uh, retracement. That's the job. So, I'll draw from this low. Why this low? This low because. Uh, This low because it was this low, this particular low, that uh, is responsible for taking out this high. So I'll draw from that low, of course, to this high. Now, the reason why I'm drawing to this high is because I am assuming this is the highest high, right? But guess what, sir? If during the course of the hours, let's say one, two hours from now, the market impulse for that to the upside, then I have to come and adjust this to the new high, okay? So I'll draw to this high, then, of course, uh i'll wait for retracement okay i'll wait for the retracement so i'll wait for the market to trade further into this 50 percent so if the momentum is very strong the first sign that the momentum is strong is that it will not trade into the 50 percent right so it might just trade into maybe 23.6 or trade into 38.2 so these are the two two uh Fibonacci golden ratios, right? Or levels where the market can be traced to to show that the price uh, actually has a stronger momentum to keep moving much to the upside, okay? Okay, so we are already seeing some red candles here, right? Already seeing some red candles here, okay? That's fine and good. All right, so I'll drop to H1 time frame. Let me give you entries here so that we can move on. I'll drop to H1 time frame. Time is really moving very fast. So I'll drop to H1 time frame. Now, since you have broken structure to the upside, I want to do a buy. Please don't forget that. We've broken structure to the upside on the H4 time frame. So that is the essence of looking at what is happening on the higher time frame. It's so that our trade, so that our trade can go in line with what is happening there, right? Our trade can go in line with what is happening there. But you know, uh, okay, there's a lot of message here. Let's look at what we have up here. So uh, you are saying how we we draw Fibonacci. It's very simple, sir. To draw Fibonacci. So you just uh, of course this 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 particular session on uh, Zoom, we're also live streaming this on YouTube. Okay, so you can equally go back much later to watch again the way I'm doing it. So you pick the Fibonacci, so you draw from the low to the high if the market is trending upward, right? Or you draw from the point A to the point B. But your point A should be is very, very important. It should be a low that actually took out the high. Then of, uh, so please, that's how you draw Fibonacci, okay? Or you draw from the point A to the point B, or you drag. Uh -huh. So if the market is trading down, you drag from the point uh, A to the point B. That means from the high to the low. So uh, you said uh, Modesta. Uh, please help me. I have been trying to get Fibonacci on, on my phone, but I haven't. Very simple. To get Fibonacci on your phone is very very simple. It's not hard. So on your phone, the, what you do is um, you open the the MT4 on your phone. So if the MT4 is open on your phone, the next thing you do you go to drawing. Okay, so you go to drawing all the two box. So if you look at the top of, if you look at the top, please I'm trying to answer you, uh, Modesta. Okay, if you look at the top of the the MT4, right? Like you should be on the chart right you know there are several buttons there please you have to be on the chart so if you're on the chart so look at the top at the top you will see a a uh, a cycle you will see a rectangle you will also see a triangle those three things join together that's a two box right so you click the two box so 
So you click the two box. Having clicked the two box, you click the plus at the top right. So once you click the plus at the top right, then you go down, you will see a line, line menu. You go down again, you see channels. You go down, you will see GAN. Then you go down, you see Fibonacci. Are you still with me? You go down, you see Fibonacci. So once you see the Fibonacci, the first option there is Fibonacci retracement. So you touch that that button, you just touch it, come back. To your, once you touch it, to take you back to your chart. So you're back to your chart right now. The next thing you do is you click right from the point A and drag on your full screen to the point B. Please, Modesta, this is how you can draw it. I hope you understand that. Okay, they, okay, I have another question here. Wow, this question I just so much. I hope we are not just going to remain on Euro USA alone. <laughs> You're asking, uh, wow, see questions everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's just take the one that we, that we can take, okay? So most of this question, please, you can ask offline, okay? I will drop my number at, at the end so that we can analyze as much as more, as much uh, instrument as we can, okay? So you're asking if the retracement doesn't come down to 50%, what does it mean? It means if it doesn't come down to 50%, it means the market is in a hurry, right? It means the institutional traders are in a hurry to take the price to a particular level. So that means it's a, it's a sign of more momentum. So it can just drop down to maybe 23.6 or even 38. Uh, uh 30 what now i can drop down to 38.2 uh-huh so those two are the areas you can quickly drop down to them before so i think i've answered that one, right say please drop your number now <laughs> you okay you have to wait till the end okay hello sir you wait till the end it is it, at the end i drop the number so you're asking if you can take advantage of the retracement to, to the downside. Of course, before you can take advantage of that retracement, remember the price is heavily pumping upward, right? So since the price is heavily moving all upward, before you can take a, an advantage of this, you will need to see what we call change of character at this stop. Change of character is the first sign of violation to the upside. I mean, that means the price must trade... Uh, By that violation, I mean, I mean, remember for this upward trend, we are having higher highs and higher lows, right? So you must, you must first see the first lower low. That's the violation of the upward trend rule. So that's before you can do that. If not, you might just be shooting yourself on the foot. So this is H1 time frame. So you, you want to drop to maybe 15 minutes time frame to see that. Okay, but for now we are not doing that. So what we are doing is we are looking out for a buy signal. Okay, so uh, I I would like to do a buy if the price drop below. So I, I can see a very strong momentum here. So I can do a buy if the price drop uh, to this uh, level here. Right. So that's when where I can do a buy. Right. So this uh, thirty eight point two level. On euro usd so on euro usd since we have seen break of structure to the upside i will wait for a retracement on this level so this is what i'm talking about the price have to retrace to this level they will start doing a buy okay but for the aggressive guys uh, if you drop down to 15 minutes time frame look look looking out for that change of character right uh, have we seen a change of character see what i mean by change of character let me show you so remember this is upward trend this is higher uh, higher highs right uh oh upward trend is characterized by this is a high right and of course this is a lower uh low there of course this is a new high right of course this high is higher than this high then again, this is a new low, right? Then of course, <clears throat> or maybe this this low this, this low can can actually be this one, right? Oh, I'm not drawing here. Can be this one. Fine. So.
so uh this is the first sign so you can see the market has actually has actually traded right this this is a wow a lot of lines here So this is the first time it's trading below this low, right? So that's the first sign of uh, change of character there. So, but whenever we see that, we normally wait for a little retracement. Uh, that will give you a much premium price. So if the price retraces a bit further towards this level, I would like to sell. So you want to sell at uh, this price, 1.06. Now you can enter immediately or you can wait until it gets to this level. So which one should you do? Uh, let's do uh, the aggressive entry. Let's do one aggressive en entry there. So I would like to place a sell. So that's an instant sell there. So this sell is actually an intraday setup, right? Or what we call scalping setup. So that means it's not a long trade, right? So it's a very short trade, right? To take advantage of the retracement towards that 38.2 uh, Fibonacci level. Or you want to wait for the price to retrace further to this level, 1.06781. So guys, we've, we've used too much time on analyzing Euro USD. It means we have to be very fast on other instrument. Okay. So I uh, think my take profit we have to be on that 38, right? I did an instant sell. My take profit we have to be on that 38, 38 point, uh, point two, right? That's my take profit. And of course, my stop loss, my stop loss will have to be above this high. So that is why it's actually uh, a scalping technology here. Okay, right? It's a scalping. So, so that means if it breaks this high, then we're out, right? So that shows that the momentum is very strong. So let's do uh, GBP. Please, we took an instant sale, okay? Let's do GBP USD. Yeah. So please, uh, pardon me, the amount of questions that is coming in at once, if I'm to take all of them, it means we are only going to remain on Euro USD throughout this one hour. Okay, so please, uh, you have your account officer's number, you can ask them some of these questions, right? Or you can get to the office across any of the location. Then, of course, I will drop my number so that you can equally get to to me. Please, my number is on WhatsApp, okay? So most of you will need to just drop WhatsApp message. So on GPUSD, let's see what's happening there very fast. So we're not going to take too much time on GPUSD because um, GPUSD has a very strong confluence with uh, with Euro USD. And strong correlation, I mean, please. <laughs> I mean correlation, please. It has a very strong correlation, up to 80 to 90 percent uh, correlated. So that means by that I mean, whichever direction the uh, Euro US is going, GP US tends to also go in that same direction. So that means uh, it simply means uh, if you're buying here, you will be shooting yourself on on the foot if you're selling at the other side. Okay. Mm. All right, guys. So um, for this uh, GDP USD now, so the same thing. The instrument is trading towards the upside, right? It's trading towards the upside. So, but then if you drop, if you drop to a look much lower time frame, 15 minutes time frame, you could be able to see. You could be able to see some sign of. Uh, excuse me. You could be able to see some sign of. Uh, uh, in, uh, trading towards the downside, right? But then the, the same thing we did, so you can see GPUSD is giving us a higher high, right? And of course, higher low, right? And of course, higher high. So in, now for GPUSD, GPUSD has not actually broken uh, this low here, right? That's not. So that means we are not doing that sell yet. So we are only going to do the sell if GPUSD can break below that low. Okay. So let me give you an entry here. Yeah? So if GPUSD trade uh, around this region, I would like to do a sell. Uh -oh. So once it trade below, below the 
the the, the opening price of of uh, today, right? So that will be around one point two two four four zero. So I would like to sell. So that will be a short sell for intraday traders. If not, this is still very much bullish. So for for a short sell, right? 1.22440 to 1.22335 so that means i'm not selling immediately i'm I'll wait uh for you years we saw a reason to sell right we saw a reason to, to sell because it has broken it broke uh that structure on the 15 minutes time frame right so uh, then for gpusd 1.22440 to 1.22335 so around this area you want to be set otherwise then you want to wait for a, a a good retracement so that you can continue the buy to the upside so actually it is that retracement we are trying to take advantage of right so this is the retracement right so it is this retracement to the downside right what we call impulse and a pullback to the downside rather so a pull back to the downside which can be on 38.2 right or even 23 all right so these two levels so actually so if it retraces this much then especially this uh, 38.2 right so guys uh recording stopped so uh i think i'll just give you an opportunity to mention any other instrument you want us to analyze So, um, Lizzie, there yeah? you say we should do Euro JPY. So, let me look at Euro JPY very fast. After Euro JPY, they will now start looking at, at uh, after Euro JPY, please we'll look at gold, okay, and oil. So, for Euro JPY, here, yeah? right? So, Remember, JPY is one of the safe haven currencies. So that means uh, during uh, times of uncertainty, uh, we normally see a lot of inflow, right? Or a lot, of, a lot of investors going towards that direction. But guess what? From what we are seeing on this chart, right? Okay, let's do from H4 time frame, please. So from what we're seeing on this chart, please, you request for this, and I'm giving it to you, right? You requested for Euro JPY. So from what we are seeing here, we are already seeing uh, massively the, 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 the price is trading towards the upside. This is what I mean. Uh, impulse on, of course. Then we have the retracement, about 61.8% uh, of that, which is healthy. So of course, it gave us another impulse that took out this high. That's break of structure to the upside. So please, once you can see this kind of movement, you conclude that the market is now riding on the upward trend. So what we try to do here is we only don't give you the entries. We try to show you how we are getting it. So over here, we have relatively... So let me zoom in a little bit. Over here, we have relatively equal highs. So if you have having relatively equal highs on an upward trend, so that's actually a magnet, what we call a trap. So that alone will pull price or will attract the price further to that region. So, so please, this is where uh, most of the money are hidden, right? So anytime you have relatively equal highs like this in the direction of the prevailing trend, guys, you can make enough money from that. So once you have this, right? So uh, because this is actually uh, uh, trying to deceive traders, right? That this is a double top, okay? So most of them will now start doing only selling, right? expecting that the market will not uh is thinking this is a reversal right well guess what the trend is much stronger the, the direction of the trend is much stronger so uh so the next time the market will be attracted towards that relatively equal highs okay so so the market was attracted towards that relatively equal high took at this high of course there is a lot of uh, money trap here stop losses right so took at this high and of course from a new high so uh for what we are seeing so this becomes our new low why because this was the low responsible for taking out these highs and a strong high at that right it's strong i mean a strong high because it's uh, double 
So I'll, I'll just draw my fee. I hope you're following up to see this analysis. You requested for this and I'm giving it to you. I'll just draw my fee from this low to this high, right? So you can see the market is going to put in a retracement for us, right? Those of us that took the Euro USD instant set, I'm sure you're already seeing some small, small profits, right? So, um, so we are so we are getting a retracement. So the market is actually putting in a retracement to the downside, right? So this is the kind of retracement that is healthy for the trend. Fantastic. So we so we expect the retracement to come down as low as fifty percent, right? Fifty percent, fifty percent. So you want to wait, right? To continue buying the the euro, you want to wait until we have enough retracement, right? 50% or below 50% is good enough, right? So, but there is a way you can do it, right? There is a way I normally do it. So, sometimes, while waiting for it to get to 50%, it may not really get to 50%. It might stop somewhere around 38.2 and, of course, turn again. So, what I normally do is I can divide my loss size, right, into smaller size and, of course, bigger size. So, that is why whenever I'm entering the trade, I normally jump in with a small. So, if the market gives me more retracement or, if you like, more uh, premium price, for a sell or more discounted price for a buy, then I will now enter the bigger law size. So that means I can enter that smaller law size on the 8.2. Then, of course, I can complete it further if, the, if I have more replacements. I hope we, we are following. Guys, I will follow him. So on Euro JPY, I would like to do a buy, right? I would like to still buy at around 158.910. So around this area to 158.6. 75 so sir sir just look around this area i would like to buy if i have more retreat retracement enough retracement to this level i want to buy right so i'm buying at that level if i'm buying okay let me just give you the uh, so i'm buying at this level right then my stop loss of course would be uh, below this low then of course my tape profit will be times two or times more than one of that distance so this high right so I'm buying somewhere here, right? My stop loss will be below this recent low, right? Because this low is a strong low. And of course, my take off will be above this high. Now, let's look at gold very fast. Gold, gold, gold. Now, we have been seeing... We have been seeing a lot of... Um, like impulsive move, impulsive move on gold for the past two weeks to the upside. So, I mean, gold has really been moving upward. Where is gold now? Hmm. Gold has really been trading up to the upside. Why is it so? It's so because of what we call safe haven. So, that means during crisis period, like what's happening right now between Israel and Hamas, we pray for peace, right? But then, we are traders, okay? So we trade whatever is happening in the global economy, right? That's what we do here. So let me drop down to daily time frame. So you can see after this gap, after this gap, remember you are expected to only be buying. So please, uh, this gap actually means uh, pressure to the upside, right? So you, so you can clearly see it right now. Just in case you didn't take advantage, you did not take advantage of this gap. Just uh, maybe in the future, you might, uh, you, I'm sure you will actually need gap, right? As a trader, you must always meet gap. So actually there are two types of gap, but let's not go into that. Gap actually means force, right? Or pressure in that direction so this this is a pressure in that direction which direction now in the direction of the gap so this is actually a gap up so this, there is a gap up there's a gap down right so it's actually gap upward now usually when the gap up upward it normally creates a, an inefficient price right inside that gap so usually we expect the market to trade into that gap right or cover the gap even up to 50 percent but you, you can see here, it traded inside, but you know, even cover it up to 50 percent before uh keep pumping to the upside, right? So, of course, that shows you the urgency of the move, right? Or the momentum behind the move. So, you can see all of this movement, right? 
So uh, if I drop down to uh, H1 time frame, that's a whole lot of movement, sir. So you can see here, that's a whole lot of movement, right? So what do we say now? Do we say uh, the momentum is off? Not yet, not yet, not yet. The reason is, uh, I think, uh, following what is happening in Israel and Hamas, so um, the news just this morning or even yesterday, where is that news now? So US, so let me share my screen so that you can see the updates, right? So, so this is just uh, early yesterday. So this is from uh, from FS Street, right? So U.S. advises Israel. U.S. advises Israel to hold off on Gaza invasion, right? So that means they have advised Israel to hold off, right? Or to hold on a little bit, right? Something like that. So that is why the market, uh, that strong bullish momentum that we have been enjoying has eased off a little bit. So that is where it's coming from. Mm. But then, if there is more escalation in the coming days, guess what? This instrument has to trade towards 2000. You no, know, gold, gold is actually heading towards 2000. So, see where it stopped? It stopped at uh, around 1,997.36 cents. Very close. Just $3 shy away from 2000 dollars per ounce right so left for me i'll still be looking out for buy signal on gold because uh if you're looking at technically what we have on the chart right if you're looking at technically what we have on the chart on the chart, we have an impulse to the upside. This is H1 time frame, please. Then, of course, we have retracement to the downside, right? So, actually, we're expecting, right?